Sorry, boss. First world problems, Danny. Besides, I've been well taken care of. It's gone in your favour then? Well, that's one way to put it. Uh, I should be okay for a year or so. Ah, well, like you once said, the winners and losers, eh? Mm, yeah, well, listen. One thing I will say about the company is they've got a good track record for appointing the right people. No, uh, maybe. It seems a bit like we're moving in the wrong direction. Listen, the branch closure's been difficult for everybody, yeah? Okay? But look on the bright side, you've still got your job. Okay? Seems a bit short term to me. Well, when are the interviews? Friday, I think. You think? I take it you didn't apply. You joke? What? The amount of experience you've had in the last couple of years. You might regret that. Well, only if Aidan gets a job. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen. No need to prolong this. Okay? I heard he got a six figure sum. Doubt it. Well, to be fair, with that smug look in his face, you never know. <laughs> Good luck to him anyway, man. What's the verdict anyway? What did the high heat gin have to say? The, the, the high heat gin just stared at me for about 10 15 minutes and started going like, meh, 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 with our lips moving and stuff like that, and her eyeballs. I didn't really pay attention to what she was saying. And that and the fact that whenever she takes off, she instantly crashes into something. I love how she like floats about with that Merc and just... But the Merc probably costs more than folks who sees anyway, she starts talking about savings. I'd hate to think about the leasing that Merc costs. Be more. <laughs> yeah, I'd have one as well if I was up. Because you're in an embarrassment, Danny. Because you're in an embarrassment, mate. Because your face is beaming red and it's a card as well, Be more. <laughs> well done, Danny. That was a joke. That's the joke. That's the joke. Was in love you. It'd be the last one anyway. At least I knew what I was talking about this time. Do you recognise anybody else then? Apart from that girl for the Levy branch, no, I didn't realise. I didn't recognise anybody. It was all externals. Fiona? Yeah, Fiona, man, yeah. She's hardly a girl, she's the same age as you. Besides, she's got a kid. I've got a kid, I've got a master's. I've got a master's in Nordic mythology, yeah sure, I'm still working here. I'm still working on that career path though, in my spare time. Well, she's got an MBA, so that Donald Trump's your master's of the dark arts. Yeah, whatever, man. What was the chippy attitude, mate, did not suit you? I've never had a female boss before, actually. Yeah, apart from every girlfriend that you've had. Including <laughs> your mother, Danny. I'm joking, I'm joking, Danny. Anyway, I'm all up for equality place and all that jargon anyway. Yeah, well, it was good to hear an interview, you know. Ah, I don't think I got it though. Your experience, if anything? Yeah, it's only ever experience if you don't get the job. Another one of these? Yes. Yes. Thanks. She's running late. See, see, to be totally honest, I wouldn't want to drive to Livingston any quicker than what I needed to. I don't mind it. It's familiar and grim. Is that the boss's car? How about you giving her a new car? I heard she's taking a rage cut for this job. I hope you weren't talking about me. Uh, no, I was definitely talking about you. Stuart, is it? Yes. Fiona, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Firstly, I'd just like to say that I'm really looking forward to working with you all. I've heard great things about all three of you, and really that's the reason why you've been brought over to my team here at Livingston. Look, I know that you were all loyal to Jim, and things might have been happening a little bit too quickly. However... Quit, quickly? We only found out about this in... Wednesday. We only found this at Monday. Yeah, well, I do apologise for that. The negotiations have taken a little bit longer than expected. However, we have managed to secure your jobs and we've protected your pay and your working conditions. I, I, I don't have that in writing. Well, I'll get on to HR and find out why the letters weren't sent out. <laughs>
We'd appreciate that. Okay. We've got a lot to cover, and I'd like to discuss the winding down of the Cumbernauld branch and moving you all over here to Livingston. I thought it'd be best if we got together as a team and we discussed things. Get some input. I've got a question. Okay. It was under my impression that the C Nold branch was more profitable than the Levy branch. I'm afraid I can't answer that. It wasn't me that made the decision. But you do agree that the common old branch was more profitable? The Livingston branch has had a lot of investment over the last five years. I think what Ian's trying to say here is that this seems like a blunderous hostile takeover orchestrated by a cartel of idiots. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's... <laughs> we're part of the same company, guys. Right now, it does not feel it. Where in Livy is the High Legion? She should be here to answer for this. Okay. Uh, we like a bit of melodrama, do we? Okay, let's start again. Does anyone have any other issues that they'd like to raise, or can we go over these figures? Anybody? Okay. We've got a lot to cover, so Aidan, I suggest that you take a seat. I'm cool, amigo. Aidan, take a seat. I mean, really? He couldn't even be bothered to get the car clean before he left. Can I read these figures out to you? Hello? Are you there? Yes, I am. I just thought I'd let you get off the chest first, you know. <sighs> well, it's worse than we thought. The pay you so I don't have to hear about these damn problems. Listen, I'm very busy, so you're gonna have to come to the chase. Yeah, well, as for that, Aiden. Four words, Fiona. Get him on side. It's got a habit of making things happen. Might be annoying, though. He's Machiavellian? Got to stop more than for a second. Aye, got a big ego, but he's one of our best salespeople. That's exactly why we need him. <laughs> Look, if I need to get rid of him, Will you support me? Have you been hitting the booze, Fiona? You know it won't come to that. Hmm. Thought you would say that. Yeah, and that's why you got the job, you know. <laughs> Thanks for your vote of confidence. Anytime, Fiona. No, is there anything else you need to talk about? Yeah, there is actually. When's this new company car coming? Bloody hell, Fiona. Got to stop complaining about Hello? the car. When I was younger, I had to ride a bike to work, so you better be happy. You're not happy about it. Just. Just so you know, I'd ask for Danny to come with me to that meeting today. I mean, Danny's good, but he's not as good as me. Yeah, well, even still, that was superb the way that you turned that around in the end. I mean, the R&D would have taken at least 18 months to do anyway, and nobody appreciated that in the room until years truly mentioned it. Yep, they were impressed with your idea about the beta testing. It just saves everybody time, and more importantly, money. That's what we want. That's what we want. Did you pick up on what they were saying about the growth figures in the Baltic states? I did actually, and I'm just going to get us a romantic pair of flights over to Riga at the moment. Aye, you'll be so lucky. Anyway, they're cutting back on jollies. What about the high heat, Jim? Don't be silly. Seen a game last night? Aye, man, Michael Douglas is fantastic in that film. <laughs> oh, no. Do you think he's only a bit on the side? Yeah, maybe, you know, he actually kicked the hobby out. It's not like you, the gossip. She sucked my help. I didn't even think she was coming out. Uh, she suggested Lebowski's, but Aiden's overruled up, and hence, get up the Yay, mandatory fun. 
Cheers, back heels. Right guys, what are we having? 15 pints. And I said to her, no, that's my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> On yeah, but I'm not going to be drinking. I've got Amy to pick up later. Is that your wee girl? Aye. She's six going on 16. Anyway guys, some excellent news. Savela are going to pick up the new interface that you've all been working on. So it looks like all the creativity and hard work is finally paying off. Uh, that time I spent securing that patent. Girls in my life I'm not getting back. I will. Unfortunately for you, Danny, you're going to be the new go-to guy for any IP or copyright. I think you should retrain as a defence lawyer, Danny. Aye, it's called Big Dan the Lawyer, man. <laughs> anyway, what's happening this weekend? Well, as you well know, Fiona, I'm working. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that one. Well guys, we all survived the first week. Well done Fiona. Well done Danny and Stuart. Well done everybody. Congratulations.